Hi there folks, so this is a follow up video. I did my first boot, got it to work. The memory of course showed up as uh, not 3200 megahertz. Uh, if you watch an earlier video where I talk about the RAM, I explained that the RAM that I'm using in this was initially made for Intel builds. It's optimized for Intel CPUs. But uh, I wanted to see if I could get it to work. It is working, though I am running it at 3000 megahertz. I'll show you how I did that. So you can kind of see over here, it shows my two DIM stick, my two RAM sticks there. It uh, shows them running at 3000. To do that, I had to come over to um, the LC Tweaker uh, menu. And I came down to here and I enabled that XMP 2.0 profile. I selected the Corsair Vengeance um, DRAM profile and I set it to 3000 megahertz. Now, I tried it at 3200 megahertz before I selected this. I had this on auto um, and it wouldn't work. It, it would, uh, you know, go on and off three, three or four times or something like that. And then go back and then it, would, then it would allow me back in but it'd be only running at like 2100 megahertz or something like that um so i enabled this and then just to be cautious i took it down to 3000 megahertz and it's running just fine i haven't loaded an operating system or anything like that but it's at least running uh within the uf uh the you know the bios uh so it does work at least initially here um, I might try to take it back up to 32 megahertz now that I've changed this over from auto, uh, but I haven't decided yet. 3000 megahertz is probably going to be pretty good, and I'm just wondering if um, I might be just dealing dealing with the limitation of that first gen Ryzen chip. It might not really be able to do much more than that, um, but I'm not positive. So I'm going to check it out later. I just wanted to document this so you know for the same reasons as I said before. Uh, thank you. Hope this is useful.